I, uh, I'm just going to do this quickly. Uh, I'll tell you what, let this be part two. Uh, Dmitry Rupel, this is, this is a real, real, uh, you know, has a tremendous ability to change real colors. No. It's late time right now and I want to go sleep and I do have to finish this video still for you. I do have to do this. After all, man, this guy nowhere is published, does have a daughter in the United States of America. This, what you see right there, that's his wife, yeah? Marietica Rupel, you see? But before we get to this place here, look at, look at the clothing. In this picture, with a picture they brainwashed me and in front of a computer and in real time when I met these people. Um, well, you see this is, this is a German flag and this and that. Uh, they assumed that I am completely, see myself completely as German. It was in their heads that they were convinced that I'm completely see myself not as nothing other than German, than German, than German, than German. So his wife, Marietica, almost 100% knows about, you see, she regards herself as Marietica Anna Rudolf Rupel. And that sounds quite German. So, he had a tremendous ability to create impression on a person that, huh, you know, how can I say, um, hmm, eh, how would I properly express myself, you know? Uh, I would say she gave herself a name, Marietica Anna Rudolf Rupel, to look to be just as misleading, uh, just as uh, fake as her husband. You're, you're talking about, when it comes to his wife, man, you're talking about the hardcore Rupa, yeah? But I think the two were honest enough with one another, so that she found about his overseas relationship with some American female over there, to put it plain and simple, okay? So, then you're gonna have what is his niece, you know, uh, uh, fan of her, Vosime Vlak Vedaliave. That's his niece actually singing here. And I was fan of this music. She was also appealing to me. was wrong with me I'm gonna tell you what the fuck was wrong with me are you into do you like me do you interested in me yeah okay okay fight nothing what's ha what's happening now uh, you're racist you this you that uh, you don't like this you don't like that so you know what I'm gonna marry to some uh, Bosnian guy or something like this it was okay okay fine that's fine with me she performed a lot tremendously a lot of torture on me physical psychological torture harassment with her uncle be beyond imaginable bullshit well over the course of the years her taste changed even more and she became more and more and more proximate to this guy here and it's actually you know what I expected all along it was. 
this is a Ljubljana mayor. Yeah, it's nothing wrong with the guy. This is just a guy that. brought me numerous times to Belgrade, met one in Belgrade. Uh, this is just a Serbian Slovenian business businessman and politician, a mayor of a capital in Slovenia. And he was born in a Serbia and appointed as a mayor by the Milan Kuchan. You know, Milan Kuchan. Since I'm talking about Milan Kuchan this year, this is actually a private mayor of the main city of the main Ljubljana city you know so let this serve as a part two of this video for you to understand really all about this wonderful couple uh, not only about the husband but also about uh, hardly will you find when it comes to Udba I don't know really how much successful these people really were. Uh, I, I, I doubt convincing foreign diplomats. I think that the foreign diplomats have to play their part in front of me and pretend like, yeah, you just gotta do. It. So it we, won't we make no fucking difference, you know. If you're straight in your head, you're gonna know your whereabouts, your way in and out. And if you're not, you're gonna. It, it doesn't even matter, right? You're gonna fail anyways. It doesn't really matter. Right? In my case, that's the way it was. I don't know how it would have been or was in other cases. Probably nothing like this. Uh, but I got it done. I I got things straight for every politician. Trust me. I accounted every one of these politicians. I know for every politician who the politician is, where he's coming from, uh, what his background is, how they are thinking, and so on. So that was a Dmitry Rupel in a nutshell. But if you understand, he's got a really, really impressive, uh, impressive resume of which stuff I have spoken to you about today is nowhere even written. No, so this here university in uh, Massachusetts he had me there I was there he had me there but so what in university in Massachusetts the only thing he did was he caused more problems for me wherever the fuck I went uh, whichever location I have gone to uh, the only thing that happened was it was it was trouble uh, what is this here this was the real problem let me see this this, this was such a problem uh, nothing uh, basically but torture nothing but beating physical and psychological abuse I don't know what to tell you this is just Slovenia how Slovenia is inside of the European Union uh, now uh, I hope things are going to change I hope the European diplomats are going to take a different view on Slovenia uh, after all, you do have somebody that is interested in somebody who sponsored you in Slovenia prior to 95, somebody who sponsored you in Slovenia way before 91, way before Slovenia became even independent. Sponsored you, sponsored NATO in Slovenia and became extremely hated for those uh, grounds, reasons. Well, these are, the, these are the things that unite European Union. Uh, also, so now hopefully you know you do have somebody in Slovenia that is actually a real person and is not Udba. How about the rest? I'm gonna leave it up to you. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time, I am gonna take one more time and date and time like this. And that's all there is. Really, nobody published the truth about Dmitry Rupel's daughter. Uh, and wife that never became wife in the United States of America. So I did. I was in that embassy. I was all over the place. I wouldn't know any of this information. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time.